Welcome, everybody, to Soccer Talk Live. I'm your host, Kyle Martino. And in some late-breaking news, I'd like to report that the U.S. men's national team boss, Bob Bradley, has just been confirmed El Supremo until 2014. So congratulations to Bob. But now on with the show. And what a show we have for you. Our first guest starred in an award-winning documentary that changed my whole perspective and what this game means to me now. Pilata is a film that traces the world's sport from the theatrical lights of stadiums around the world back to where it all began. The star of Pilata, Luke Bowen, is with us tonight. Someone else who knows pickup games is Super Sunday Plus's very own Keith Costigan. Keith is here for Brendan Hunt, who has the night off. He'll take a look ahead at the start of the UEFA Champions League, which begins on FSN, FSC, and FS Plus in a few short weeks. Also with us tonight is the beautiful and talented star of the big and small screen, my girlfriend, Keith, stop it, actress Eva Murray. We'll find out what Eva's been up to post-Californication and make some TV history by her interviewing her Oscar-winning mother, Susan Sarandon. We are so excited to have Susan on the program to tell us all about her innovative ping pong club spin. But before we get to all of that, we got we to talk. I mean, how about that? Bob Bradley getting the nod for four more years. Is that a little bit surprising to you? It is surprising. Uh, I think it's a good move. I think Bob Bradley's done a great job, Carl. We both said how, how well he did at the World Cup. But you were a part of the U.S. squad in and around the time uh, Bruce Arena done well at the first World Cup. He didn't carry that on to the second. It's a difficult thing to do. And my question to you would be, did it change after 2002 for Bruce Arena? Was there a different feel around the, the squad? Because well, that's what I'm worried about with Bob. Well, Bradley. yeah, there was a little bit. You know, the, the tough part is taking on and getting a second run, a second term at, at coaching a World Cup team doesn't happen very often. There were only two team or two coaches at this past World Cup that, that coached in the previous World Cup. So, yeah, there is a big change because four more years, that's a long time. And to tell you the truth, I'm really surprised that, that this, this happened. I, didn't, I, I obviously was out in the open from the start saying that I think we needed a new coach. I think, to tell you the truth, obviously we'll see what comes out in the press, but we saw that Jurgen Klinsmann meets with Sunil Gulati. Yeah. Last time around, Sunil Gulati was an Another Twitterito with us. Earlier, we saw Christy. Hey, Christy, how are you? I'm doing fabulously. Well, we have our contestant to find the finest Twitterita this side of the Mississippi, and it's back on. First week, we saw Tiffany dust off the Blackberry. <laughs> then Ashley tapped out the iPhone. And while this week, Christy McDonald shows us that Duke doesn't just produce great <laughs> basketball players. Hello, Christy. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Are you, are you nervous at all? I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm getting through it. No, you don't have to be nervous. Those other two girls weren't very great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Everyone, everyone was really good. So, Christy, let us know, how is everyone getting in touch with us? Um, everyone gets on at Twitter. And if you want to contest, contact us, you Twitter, get yourself a Twitter account at Twitter.com. These are the links like Twitterific or Uber Twitter, and away you go. You can also email us at SoccerTalkLive at FoxSoccer.com, and I'll make sure Kyle answers them all. We also have our Tanactin Topic of the Week, and this week, we want to know if Bob, Bra Bob Bradley deserves four more years. Back to you, Kyle. <laughs> deserves four more That sounds kind of like a sentence. <laughs> it, it really does. Soccer Talk Live is presented by Progressive Insurance, making it easy to shop for car insurance. Now that's progressive. Welcome back to Soccer Talk Live. Don't forget to send your tweets to SoccerTalkLive at Twitter.com or send your email to SoccerTalkLive at FoxSoccer.com. Eva Amuri, the beautiful, the talented, my roommate. Oh, stop. <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to play it up a little bit. Wait, so you, you, had, you had a fun night last night. What did you get? Yes, I did. My mother and I went to the Emmys together last night. We got all dolled up. It was so much fun. I had a kind of early night. She rocked the house a little bit longer than me, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, she's never out here, as you know. Mama Sue's never in the house, so it was nice to have her. It was nice to spend some time together. So when they came up and, and they, they did their, her award and they were talking about it, were you, were you rooting against those other actresses? Were you saying, I really... I don't know. We were so tired at that point. We kind of just wanted to stay seated. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was great. She, I mean, you know, we just had fun going, and she just likes to go, and it was, it was just a blast getting to go there and see everyone, and everybody's always so talented in those categories. Well, speaking so. of seeing everyone, who was, the, who was the cool person you ran into at the age oh, 
Oh, I met Jack Kevorkian last night. Unbelievable. Which I was so starstruck. I mean, what an incredible person and um, just a really brave, brave guy. So that was a big, that was <laughs> a big victory for me to get my picture taken with. I mean, that was the biggest celebrity there. Yeah, I think I actually BBM'd you right after it. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> I met him. Yeah. So uh, speaking of uh, being up to cool things, you just did something fun. I mean, you've been on some guest shows. You've been doing... Uh, House, you weren't you were on? Uh... Yeah, no. After Californication, I did a sort of little mini run of different guest spots, which is really fun because the guest spots are always sort of more interesting sometimes than a lot of the the regular characters because they're always doing something crazy or dying or being killed off or whatever. Um, but then after that, actually, this summer I did my first audio book, which what was, was like? <laughs> which was a vamp. Uh, no, sorry, not vampire, zombie book, and um, it was a 500-page book. It's by Penguin Books. It's called Dust. Actually. My audio recording and the book itself comes out on September 7th. So you can check me out doing a whole bunch of zombie voices Wait, did you, and making you, you a fool of myself. You did all of the characters? I did. It was something like, you know, 15 characters and 13 of them were men and they're all zombies. So uh, it's quite the international crew. I had to pull out every cheesy accent that I've ever <laughs> done. Well, hold on. But I, I heard out of all the cheesy accents, they all sounded like they were from Brooklyn. Yeah, a lot of them sound like they're from Brooklyn. Hey, I went to high school in Brooklyn. What can you say? But um, yeah, a lot of them end up sounding, I mean, how many male voices, zombie voices can a woman really do after yeah, all? I probably couldn't even do one. No. Chrissy, can you do a male zombie voice? Um, no, and I will not try. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we what do we have? I know fans want to know something from Eva. They do. Uh, you just recently made the big move from New York to LA. Yes. What do you miss most about New York? And what do you enjoy about LA? And it's only an hour show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I miss about New York? I love walking everywhere. Um, I think that that is one of the magical things about New York is you can kind of leave your house and stumble upon an adventure. Um, it's not so much like that in LA because you're driving a lot, but what's great about LA is the beach. Um, and I recently moved right next to the beach. And hopefully, you were forced, you were yeah, forced to move. And hopefully, I'll be getting a dog soon. <laughs> Obviously, catches me on live TV. But I don't I think the, uh, the tweeters have anything to say about that, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I, I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't think I could do justice in interviewing your mom. So I want you to. Oh, stay I would on. love to. We've and, never and done that before. So we can make it. It'll be make a first history, time right? right here on Soccer Talk Live. You, you've, yes. you've literally never, never interviewed your mom before. No, I have never. I don't know why you would. <laughs> yeah, every morning over breakfast. Yeah. Um, but no, that'll be that'll be. This will be fun. fun. And you, maybe yeah. you can get some stuff out of Susan that I can't. Yeah, and we'll see if we can get her to do Chance or Smarty Pants. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely gonna do that. Do you think she's yeah. gonna be good at it? Yeah. You know, and she, she's got she skills. Pulls out hat. She's a ping pong player. Actually, maybe I should say that. Well, we're already having too much fun <laughs> on Soccer Talk Live. Susan Sarandon in the house. There's a lot of talent in the same gene pool on, on my two in my two seats. It's yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you ever had Eva interview? <clears throat> we're gonna make we're gonna make some TV history if you're comfortable. No, Eva yeah, and I, I've worked I was thinking, together a few times, but we she's never interviewed. Well, her. I was thinking I could ask you the questions for the segments. Yeah, because my, my questions are pretty dull, and Eva's really gonna spice it up a little bit. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, <laughs> so face me. Let's start this interview. So thank you, by the way, for coming in. You're welcome, um, girlfriend. So I'll just hang out over here. They deal with a lot of soccer balls in this stage, um, but you have recently made a business out of a different set of balls. Can you tell us about about that a little bit? Yes, a different set of balls. <laughs> Thank you, Eva. <laughs> very nice, very nice entry. Yeah, into balls this are my business. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, she coined well, them because right. I have a ping pong club bar mm -hmm. slash bar uh, in a in a few places uh, called Spin. It's called Spin New York's, Spin Milwaukee, Spin Hollywood, and hopefully some other spins. And Spin Milwaukee just opened up the other night, right? Yes, just a few nights ago. How did that and go? It went really, really well. That's and so, so cool. the ping pong ball would be my specialty, I suppose. What? Oh, wait, so how did you how did you get into to, to ping pong? How I long mean, is your show? I know. We, <laughs> I we only have about have five minutes left. That. No, um, it, not because I play well. Just seem like she does good play, idea. though. She's I good. do play. But, I, you know, every other sport you can drink and watch. <laughs> yeah. But nobody ever did that with ping pong. That's right. I mean, it's kind of so like. This was the brainstorm. It's kind of like the modern day billiards room. You know, it's like. We're going to take over billiards. Billiards is too slow. So, you know, ping so pong, you year. play facing each other. You can play with. It, it, it's much looser. It's little girls can beat big muscle-bound guys. It's 
very democratic. Well, so you, you just started one at the Mondrian Hotel, and Eva and I actually got out there and got in the mix a little we bit. Look, look at this. I want to see. Up here, and you have your, your athletic foot apparel on, so you're I already do. ready for this. I can be this. the referee over here. Yeah, so Eva, you could either referee or you could talk smack to, to see if you can get her off of her game, because I heard she's going to be really good. I think that we need to maybe focus a little bit. So the bit. game that we're going to be talking about is there's Euro uh, qualifications coming up. I knew that, too. England's playing Bulgaria. <laughs> I remember before you were talking about who they were going to bring back. And was Terry going to come back into the side? I remember you talking about that. <laughs> so here we have. I always follow Bulgaria. England bag. Well, you can't. See, here's the thing. You can't make which one you want. This needs to be mind completely Excuse out of me. it. Just I think body. Will and be what the if prime I hit this charming here. young woman there? She, what, she's, what a back, that mean? she's a backboard. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll help kick, kick it, in. it in. You can kick it in if you want. All right, so if I'll I don't field. get any in. Well, then we'll just keep going because we'll roll you're better than that. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> what, if, what if you get all of them in? All right, so here's Bulgaria. That means it's a tie, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you make all three, I think it's going to tear a hole in the universe, or, or we need to back you up. All right, let's see. There's something wrong with this. Yeah. I, I didn't think you were going to be this good. I'm sure you didn't. I didn't either. It's been years since I've tried to get a beanbag in a cornhole. <laughs> All right, okay. so we got two left. All right, Eva, grab, grab those two that she sunk. Okay. And now we're going to do one last final because it's not going to be a tie. It's going to be either England or okay. Bulgaria. Here we go. What we're going to do is now you're going to have sure to throw with your left hand because you're so good. Now, uh, how do you know it's not going to be a tie? Because be whichever tie. one gets closest to the hole or goes in is going to be the winner. I so see. So let's see. <laughs> Aren't you Wait a second. Were you, tra were you training out in the parking lot or something? This is insane. All right. I gotta, I gotta throw you off a little bit. Kyle, I tried to hustle you. Right, go ahead. I tried to trick you into thinking that she wasn't good at this. All right. Okay. England. England, England. wins. So she's predicted England. I predicted England as well. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> but they're they're the better team. So that's gonna be a little anticlimactic. But but that was.